What's going on world? I'm George Kill, and on behalf of the Kill Colon Cancer Foundation, happy colon cancer awareness to all you colon cancer advocates out there. Now today I'm with Ralph Davis, who is a local Austin native and also a person who has had two colonoscopies. Um, and today, Ralph, we're kind of wanting to find out the process of a colonoscopy. A lot of people are scared to get colonoscopies sometimes, as you know. Um, but starting from the beginning, what goes into the preparation of getting a colonoscopy? Well, the preparation is actually half the battle. They'll give you the information and you go to the drugstore and you pick up all the, the stuff needed to help you clear yourself for the operation. There's a mixture uh, that you have to put together and you have to drink it. And before you drink it, there is, you know, there's some time that you spend without eating, without eating any solids. Uh, because, you know, they, they want to clean you out first just so that they can see what's in there. And everything has to be cleared. So no no red liquids, no soda pops. So the best thing you can do is maybe soup. You know, you drink a lot of water, of course. And so that's a difficult process because that stuff, uh, you just have to be close to a bathroom. Okay. And I think a lot of people don't want to deal with that. But, you know, once you think about what the ramifications of uh, having colon cancer is, you want to just go ahead and take care of that. Since you've had two colonoscopies, um, what happens when you get there to the clinic? They make sure that you're somewhere close to a bathroom because you still got all this going on and everything. And you just get your insurance information together. Uh, you have to bring somebody, somebody with you because you're gonna be a little woozy after the operation. And uh, they set you up and then they call your name and they go and get you prepped uh, for the surgery. And uh, the... Uh, the anesthesiologist is always real lighthearted, you know, and telling jokes and everything. So they make sure you're very comfortable before you go in. And that's one of the biggest myths as well. Like I've had some people come to me like, I don't want to get one because I don't want to feel that. And I'm like, but you're asleep. So yes, you are asleep. Uh, if you got a good anesthesiologist, you won't even know what happened. Uh, they're talking to you at one point, they put that IV up there, and the next thing you know, uh, you're back in recovery. Exactly. So you don't feel anything. Exactly. So yeah. now getting to that recovery uh, part of the process, what happens then uh, when you're finished with the colonoscopy mm -hmm. and, and you're on your way home? Is there soreness? There's absolutely nothing. There's, there's actually relief that you're finished with the solution that you had to drink, you're finished with the surgery. It's a real lighthearted thing, there's no pain. Um, I was really surprised the first time because I had all those fears before. Kind of describe uh, your first time and your second time because I know the second time was kind of emotional for you. Yes, yes. Um, describe that. Yeah, the second time um, I was a little nervous because I had had some, uh, some problems with my bowel movements and stuff. I haven't exactly been good at eating what I'm supposed to eat, you know, roughage and stuff like that to keep my colon clean. Usually you do it in five year increments and I almost missed that, it was almost six years. And I was afraid, you know, uh, of the diagnosis. What really put a cap on it was that the uh, doctor said that I was the first African American that he had did the procedure for in a long, long time. Wow. So it was good. It was good going in, I was still scared, uh, but uh, everything came out okay. Right, right, and and to, to kind of conclude and, and end it, what would you say to the people out there who don't want to get the colonoscopy, but um, you know, in the long run, it, it's better for them? Well, I would say that you need to check your family history, uh, go to your uh, primary care doctor, find out what kind of diseases they had, find out if there was any colon cancer, Go out and get screened. Matter of fact, get screened for everything. You know, get rid of all those fears. It's not a problem. It's better to catch it then, or maybe be in first stage, or maybe precancerous where they can take it out instead of going in there and it's fourth stage uh, colon cancer. But at least give yourself a fighting chance to fight against this disease. It is uh, avoidable. The best thing that we can do is to be diligent. Make sure you go down the line to your family, your aunts and uncles and cousins and everybody, and make them get their screenings too. And uh, eventually we can, we can beat this disease.